How's it going, guys? So we've looked at the quarterback room and the running back room. Now let's look at the wide receiver group and see how they did this season. So coming into this season, we knew that wide receiver was going to be a bit of a sore point for us. There wasn't going to be too much expectations. We thought that we were going to depend on the run game and our defense and that we would be able to bring these receivers along. We started off the season going into it expecting that Al Azar would be our number one. Potentially Sammy Watkins being our number two, allowing Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs to learn the offense and eventually they would take over for number two and number three. Randall Cobb could be our in and out slot guy. We didn't really depend on him too much. And then you had also Amari Rogers, Samari Torre, and Jawan Winfrey to round out the entire wide receiver group. So there was a lot of question marks with this group and we weren't really going to expect too much out of them because with this crew and the departure of Devontae Adams, we knew this was going to take a step back and this wasn't going to be our strong suit. So going down the list, Al Lazard, he was expected to be our number one receiver. He started 15 of the 17 games, got sidelined for two games due to a shoulder injury, but otherwise pretty much kept that number one receiver spot for most of the season. Christian Watson was our big wide receiver draft pick that a lot of us Packer fans were very stoked to get. Very big frame, super fast. I believe 6'4", 6'5", runs at 4'3", 4", 40 time. So definitely a player that we had to finally take the top off the defense. Now he came in and we knew he had like a raw talent and he had some drop histories in college. So we knew this might take a little bit. He did end up playing 14 games for us, starting 11 of them, but he was in and out of a few games and also in training camp due to a hamstring injury and that kind of hurt. His development and rapport with Aaron Rodgers and that kind of stifled his learning so it made it harder for him it's already hard enough as a rookie receiver and a rookie overall but then to compound it with injuries during training camp and throughout the season he definitely had a slow start to start off with then we had Romeo Dobbs fourth round pick came into training camp and there was a lot of hype around him of how he had amazing hands was pretty much catching everything with no body catches he was supposed to be pretty much our possession catcher and at the time, it kind of looked like potentially Romeo Dobbs was going to take the starting spot away from Christian Watson and that we might have wasted a pick on Christian Watson. Dobbs would end up playing 13 games, starting seven of them. But in week nine, he did go out with a high ankle injury, which sidelined him for a few games until week 15. Then we have Randall Cobb. We all know who Randall Cobb is. He's the security blanket for Aaron Rodgers, guy that he looks for on third down and typically converts them. Uh, he did play most of the season at 13 games, only started three of them, but he did go out with an ankle injury in week six and was put on IR, but he only missed the four games. Next, Sammy, next we had Sammy Watkins. He was supposed to be our veteran receiver, kind of put the top off the defense as we got the rookies more acclimated with our offense and was supposed to at least help in a few games and be a pretty much upgrade this receiving crew because it was pretty bare bones. And he did play in week one. He did not have his typical week one performances. And then he went out with an injury. And he pretty much was in and out of the lineup due to his injuries. Then we had Samari Torre, Late round draft pick. Showed some promise in training camp. Kind of turned some heads. Has really good route running. And he only played a few games in the season. Especially with many wide receivers out due to injury. But he was never really given a fair shot. Then we had Amari Rogers. It's Amari Rogers. And then lastly, Jawan Winfrey, who showed promise in training camp, but only really got a couple of shots due to injury, called up from the practice squad three times till he was maxed out and was never seen again on the actual 53-man roster, as the Packers did not want to fully sign him to the roster. And so that was our receiving crew going into this season, and they didn't fare very well in the receiving department. So Alan Lazard was our number one receiver in terms of reception yards, but didn't perform at an actual number one receiver for us. He had 60 receptions for 788 yards and six touchdowns. That put him best for 39th in the entire league in reception yards. Then Christian Watson, who was our second leading receiver on the team, had 41 receptions for 611 yards and seven touchdowns. And he really didn't like come on until very late in the season. But when he did, this was his final stat line, and he was still only best for 63rd in the league. So this is essentially our number two towards the t tail end of the season, and he was only good for 63rd best. Romeo Dobbs ended the season with 42 receptions, 
425 receiving yards and three touchdowns, which was only good for 104th best in the entire league. Now as our third leading receiver. Then behind him, Randall Cobb, security blanket, 34 receptions, 417 yards, one touchdown, made it to 109th best. Sammy Watkins, our number two receiver, kind of going into this season, only had a total of 13 receptions, 206 yards. It was good for 139th best. That's including his stats from the Ravens. And to round out the rest, Samari Torre, five receptions, 82 yards, one touchdown. Amari Rogers, four receptions, 50 yards. And Jawan Winfrey with one reception and 17 yards. So as you can see, our wide receiver group, and we did expect this to take a few steps back with the departure of Devontae Adams. They didn't perform, especially when you compare them to the rest of the league. Alan Lazard, our number one receiver, was only good for 39th best. Then our second leading receiver was good for 63rd best. We couldn't even have two receivers in the top 50. Barely had our number one receiver in the top 50. And what's kind of actually interesting to when you start diving a little bit more into this, Alan Lazard had six drops. Christian Watson, who they will just beat and beat about how he dropped his first catch or, well, his first pass against the Vikings. He only had four drops for the season. Romeo Dobbs, who was considered some of the best hands on our team, and they kept alluding and, and praising of how good his hands are, how he catches away from his body. He had nine drops. So our receivers definitely had a lot left to be desired. I was very shocked when I looked at Romeo Dobbs' stats, and I didn't realize he had nine drops. I knew he had a few drops, but to pretty much lead our team. And I guess that is to be expected. He is a rookie. He has to adjust to the NFL. And he was a fourth round pick, although a lot of experts and all were wondering how did he drop so low. He's still a rookie. So we were depending a little bit too much on our rookies. So overall, like when you look at the stats and the eye test and seeing how our receivers played and the constant back and forth with Kurt Warner coming in and be like, hey, the receivers are just not running the correct route based off what Rodgers could be expecting, what Rodgers expects, having the same report, they just underachieved. They didn't do well. And that's not really shocking. So overall, yes, I'm going to give the wide receiver group a 4 out of 10. Like They were a huge weakness for most of the season for us. Like there was, It was obvious that we couldn't pass. And a lot of teams dared us to pass, which is... Something weird to hear considering we have Aaron Rodgers as our quarterback. But teams started to understand like we can run the ball so we're going to stop the run and we dare you to pass on us. And it was a very weird feeling. And it makes a lot of sense. They underperformed. They were rookies. They didn't really overachieve. They kind of underachieved. I wasn't expecting too much out of this receiver group. I had hopes that maybe Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs would somehow catch on really fast and they would blow our minds and Matt LaFleur would be able to string these guys along and pretty much get them wide open. But unfortunately that didn't happen. And that's with Aaron Rodgers, Matt LaFleur, and also the amount of injuries where they one was going in and one was going out. Like Watson was out. Dobbs was in. Dobbs goes out. Watson's in. And these guys barely played together for a good portion of the season. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, go back, go.